In this problem, we have to find the derivative of this vector valued function. To do this, we just take the derivative of each of the component functions. So let's go ahead and do it. So r prime of t is equal to, so for the first piece, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So here it's e to the negative t times the derivative of the inside function. The inside function in this case is negative t and its derivative is negative one. Plus, the derivative of five is zero, so we just get zero j hat. Plus, now here we do have to use the product rule. So we have 60 times e to the t. So recall the product rule for derivative says if you have f times g and you take the derivative, you can think of f as the first piece and g as the second piece. So it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So here the first piece is 60, so its derivative is 6 times the second, so e to the t, plus the first, so 60, times the derivative of the second. And the derivative of e to the t is e to the t. And let's not forget, we still have our k hat. Let's just check that. The derivative of the first is 6 times the second plus the first, which is 60, times the derivative of e to the t, which is e to the t. The last thing to do maybe is just clean this up just a little bit. So r prime of t is equal to negative e to the negative t i hat. And then we have this other piece here with uh, the e's. So parentheses 6 e to the t plus 60 e to the t. And then we have our k hat. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.